right, so it's John of Fix Events here. Um, I'm going to do a little short video today for you guys on about uh, on a slide gate, okay, chain link slide gate. So this slide gate here is uh, probably about 25 years old. We're doing this uh, video shoot out here in the front, my front yard. Um, so let's go over some of the components of the slide gate. Uh, like I said, it's 25 years old, so but it still slides pretty simple. You know what I mean? It's not that bad. Yeah, I got some weeds down there, so. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is what's considered a track bracket, okay? It holds the track on. Yeah, it's kind of loose, you know, 25 years old, that's what happens. It's been used quite a bit. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, these, this is one and five eighths rail. Um, and uh, I'm sure there's a, a couple of tools you probably want to use, like a, uh, a band saw, you know, a quarter band or maybe a, a, a carbide blade with a chop saw, or even, you know, if you want to go old school, use one of those, uh, what are those, uh, oh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, for so anyway, here's the rear wheels on the slide gate. Now, it's like I said, this is, gate's 25 years old back there at the old shop. We used to have to drill into the frame, right? And then we'd put our wheels in. Well, nowadays, They've got something a little bit better than that. Here's a couple of wheels here. This is what's called a pressed steel wheel. Yeah, it's old because remember, fix a pins LLC. Nothing's really new here. But wait a minute, here's a new one. This is pressed steel, okay? So it's uh, a little bit lighter weight. You want to use these for a lightweight, maybe more like a residential frame gate, okay? And this one's called malleable. You got some. Uh, Zerk fittings in here. You can actually shoot some grease into there because they have some bearings in here. This is this is the heavy duty wheel that you really want to put on your larger slide gates. Okay. So uh, with that being said, this is probably a little bit more expensive than this one, but uh, you can probably go to your mom and pa uh, fence shops and find them. That's where I gotta go. Uh, another thing, you gotta have these uh, front wheels on here too. Okay. Gotta have some front wheels. I don't know if you can see these or not from the video cameras, but uh, you gotta have front wheels. Now, again, 25 years old. They say the tire's flat, but it rolls just fine as far as I'm concerned. So, you know what? Don't, whatever, say, don't, don't fix it, you know, unless it's broke, don't, whatever. Anyway, so, but here's a couple other uh, wheels. This is what they look like. Another used wheel, obviously. It's been broke, but you know what? I'll probably get some kind of use out of it, you know? Uh, and who knows? I might need, need a, a wheel to fix it on somebody else's gate. There again, fix a fence. This is one of those uh, wheels. It's a pneumatic wheel, uh, double wheel. Uh, a little bit more, it's called rough and ready. And, uh, <laughs> and they are pretty rough and heavy duty. Uh, so those are the ones that you probably want to use for your uh, uh, bigger, heavier gates, okay? Uh, another thing we got here is what's called a Rolo latch. This is probably the last thing I want to show you here on this little video. Is a Rolo latch, um, and obviously, you know, I don't know if I'm being a gender correct or anything like that, but this is the male part of the Rolo latch. Okay, and there's a female over there that I have it uh, on the on this. I had to extend the opening, guys. Anyway, I had to extend the opening here. Uh, to get my trucks in. This is the female part of the Rolo latch. So, slide it, get together, and boom, bam, you put it in just like that. And that's, a, that's how I keep my stuff locked or whatever. You know, so I don't know why it's called a Rolo latch. You might want to ask the industry people like that, but all I know is, is it works. You know, uh, great application. Fix a Fence LLC, just giving you some uh, tips on uh, uh, the slide gate here in Portland, Oregon. All right, guys, have a great day.